Hi, I'm Micah Mullen. Welcome to another free art lesson. Today we're going to talk about using impasto medium and then using dried glazes to create effects within that impasto medium. And what we're going to look at today is a tree. We're going to use impasto medium along with dried glaze to create some interesting relief effects and some, some interesting shapes along this tree. So let's get started. Uh, what we're going to do uh, first is, is mask out different parts of the tree with uh, simple masking tape. And uh, we'll mask out one, one side whoops, uh, and we'll cut right on the canvas. And I use an X-Acto knife to do this. And uh, you want to you be careful when using an X-Acto knife right on the canvas. You want to make sure you have a very sharp knife so you don't dig too hard and cut into the canvas. And the other thing you want to do is kind of along those same lines is make sure you don't push too hard into the canvas. So we're going to mask that one side off like that. And then we'll, we'll mask off the other side as well. Right along the edge of the tree this time. Okay. And now what we'll do is take our X-Acto knife and just basically create some interesting effects within, within the tree itself. This will give it a little bit of a sharp edge, so it'll make it look maybe like the one side of the tree was burned or hasn't quite you know, developed its bark or, or whatever. Um, so we'll peel this off. Hopefully this will come off okay. Okay, so that'll create a little bit of a jagged edge there. And now what we're going to do is lay, that, lay down the impasto. And what I'm going to do over this black is make a gray color to represent, you know, the, the bark or, or different variations in the tree. So I'll use a lot of titanium white, Matisse titanium white, and just a tiny bit of carbon black. Mix those up very well. And earlier I laid out a lot of impasto medium. I always like to be very generous, generous with the impasto medium. So now we'll mix that in. And we'll start laying this right down on the tree. Just one second. Use a, I always like to use a nice big palette knife. Um, sometimes it's good for details and such to use a smaller one, but a big one does the trick as well. So we'll lay it right down on there. more and now let's just smooth it out with our palette knife right along the edges of the tape so we have a pretty pretty thick wall there okay now what we'll do is lift our tape up Okay, 
Now the other part that I want to do now is make some interesting bark and uh, some interesting variations within the tree itself. And I do this by using dried glazes. Earlier uh, I took some Australian sky blue and I mixed it with a uh, Liquitex glazing medium. And it takes about three to four days to dry. But once it dries, it dries to a nice real hard coat. And you just basically take your knife, cut around it. And it'll eventually lift up. Sometimes it's a little bit trickier than that, but. Well, this one's giving me some trouble, but what I did earlier um, is I did create some already pre-made and what it'll look like is this. And basically from here, what I'll do is just cut out some interesting shapes with a pair of scissors or a knife. And uh, from here, you can just create some interesting bark and embed it right into the impasto medium. So different variations, whoops, different variations of shapes and even some colors. I also did some brown earlier in the week. We can put that there. And it's just another way to represent different colors in the tree. And make that tree stand out a little bit more in the painting. So I'm Micah Mullen. My website is micahmullen.com. Look for me on my DVD and look for more of my free art lessons. Thanks.